which side are you on? Will AI, artificial intelligence, destroy humanity, as Elon Musk and a few other notable people say, or AI is extremely useful and can speed up the advancement of human technology beyond, far beyond anyone's imagination? You know, both scenarios are possible. Possible. So the question is, which one is more probable? See, AI is a technology. It's it's a certain uh, class of technologies in which you have uh, neural networks, quantum neural computing, all kinds of things, which all are now classified under the big umbrella of AI. So AI is a tool. A stick is a tool. You can use it for good purposes and for bad purposes. Yeah, uh, nuclear energy is a tool. It's a technology. It's a tool. You can use it to power the entire world and and uh, and get rid of all the polluting technologies. You can also use it to destroy the planet with nuclear weapons. All technologies are merely tools. It all depends on how they are used. You can use them for good purposes as well as bad purposes. You can use them for good. You can use them for harm. Now AI can certainly transform the world and, and make the world a better place. You can use uh, machine learning to decrypt ancient uh, languages that are yet uh, ancient scripts that nobody has been able to decipher thus far. You can use AI, machine learning algorithms, etc. to develop new drug molecules to solve, uh, to, to cure cancer and whatnot. You can do all kinds of good using AI. You can use AI to monitor traffic and uh, and uh, govern the way the traffic lights change. And that can give you a better experience in navigating the cities, for instance, and so much more. But AI can also be used for all kinds of bad purposes, for harm. It can be used to enslave humanity, essentially, using social media algorithms, using the dopamine releasing algorithms of likes and dislikes and shares and all that. Uh, so it has all kinds of uses, but the, the question is who controls the AI? All the AI technologies that are currently being developed are mostly being, being developed in certain countries. Yeah. And even in those countries, let's, let's take the United States, for instance, and China. Let's take two examples. There are more examples for sure. Let's take two examples. In China, who's developing the uh, cutting edge AI technologies? It's the Chinese government and the Chinese military that's doing it. Now, when the government and the military is doing something, it has a certain purpose, a military purpose, a purpose that's about expanding your sphere of influence at the expense of the other nations. In the US, the US military and the government are for sure developing AI and certain very large corporations are developing AIs, AI technologies. So it's typically the government, the military and Silicon Valley. Now, they will do it for in order to benefit themselves. The large corporations will do it to, to get even larger, to, to make more money, to make more, to expand their revenues and the number of people who they influence and so on. So if it is used for good purposes, it can transform the world. But if it is used for making money and expanding your military influence, your military footprint, your geostrategic footprint, it's going to end up causing way more trouble than we can imagine. Right. So on balance, I would be on the side of Elon Musk that we need to be very, very, very careful about AI. It is very useful, but it can destroy the destroy humanity. It can it can possibly end up enslaving humanity. And AI doesn't have to become conscious to destroy humanity. AI doesn't have to be become sentient, self-aware like they show in the Terminator movies. No. AI is already, it can do tasks at a level that's unimaginable for a human brain. So if you automate that and if you have human beings controlling that, that gives those human beings almost unlimited power. And it's always for making more money and you could call it enslavement. In the future, you could have actual enslavement without the enslaved people realizing they are enslaved. Like in the Matrix movies and so on. So on balance, considering the, hu the patterns of human history that I've been studying, we see some things over and over and over again. As new technologies emerge, they are always first used for military purposes, for the pur purpose of gaining more control, more power, and winning wars, waging wars. It's always that way. It's only later that those technologies uh, produce spin-offs that are used in the civilian domain. So whatever we see of AI, there is a, 
there is a whole different ai that is not visible to us that's being double, that's about, about 20 or 30 years beyond what we can imagine it's already that far ahead and that is right now being developed by various militaries in the world so eventually if this continues like this it could end up uh, enslaving humanity or possibly destroying humanity uh, eventually these ai systems even if they are not sentient and self aware they could still if you give give them the wrong kind of decision making ability they could say that let's optimize everything get rid of the human connection completely and uh, you know who knows what could happen so i am on the side of elon musk and whichever other notable people there are that it is a very dangerous development for us and uh, there needs to be restrictions and controls and checks and balances on the power that ai has and essentially the people who have who are developing ai have